Hey guys, it's me again, Orkslero, and it's where we last left off. Let's see, chick chick chicking. <sighs> Beldum just got done dealing with Goliath, if I remember correctly. They blew him to bits. Well, Bell did, using every single magic he had, essentially, and just pretty much used it in, like, one final megaton blow. And so, with that being said, they are in the thing. Where they're, like, gathering up all those, like, just level grinding, essentially. Bell's finally leveled up, meeting something that was difficult for him to actually deal with. Especially with almost getting crushed and such. After that, they all went home, be happy, yada, yada, yada. They go through the, like, the opening scene in the second season. There you go. Oh. Sorry. And then they fight all those weird cat things with... Fuck, I forgot her name. Uh, Misu? Oh, shit. They're fighting alongside Mikado. Bell is able to cover them very well. Frodo and Sam, they're going around stabbing things, ankles and such, and bashing things in the head. And since they are decent, about decently strong, I'll say they're around Bell's level, you could say. In a sense, like, they're pretty good. As Frodo's going around stabbing things in the like using his two swords and slicing at the ankles and he has acquired the special ability to go invisible yes as it's a sort of hide and retreat and Sam has a thing known as his ability is the sorry seasoning summon a thing of seasoning yeah any kind of seasoning he wants like Pepper, salt, paprika, peppers in general, sort of stuff. As he does that, he actually throws it in the eyes of some of these animals, and they just start freaking out because of it being peppers. So, uh, all that said and done, they eventually wind up at the same bar that they usually do. With that being said, the guy starts insulting him, and Bell is like, just ignore them. They're trying to aggravate us. As Frodo and Bell, Sam are about to get, in, like, Frodo's about to get up in arms, you could say. Bell tells Frodo to, like, calm down, Frodo. They'll say what they want to aggravate us. As they're just lobbing insult after insult, Bell says, I don't think we all want it here. As he gets up and they just leave the thing. No fights, none of that. As then Bell and them make it all the way back to the hostess of fertility to actually go. Because they're like, man, people are just real dicks at our places. Mm. Mm. Dang it. So, with all that being done, uh, they continue forward and going around, having the invitation presented to them, as it's, of course, Belle that's chosen to go. They force him to do his hair, they force him to, come to get his beard under control. He brings along a nice outfit, you could say, like a... A nice wizard uh, cloak that he puts over his normal. That he puts over his outfit. It's like the fancy one, you could say, if he ever had one. He never leaves without a staff. That's a given. As he's walking with his staff and such, they're all there at the party. As they all continue, are like all dancing. Hestia is eating food. Bell notices Freya. And, well, she comes over trying to do the whole hip charming him thing. But he explains, well, I guess, well, he isn't charmed. He more or less just seems average. As he's like, hmm. 
Because <laughs> Galadriel, I'm pretty sure, is being, like, being known for, like, her beauty and such, so... Since he's used to someone's beauty on the caliber of Freya's, yeah. So he's virtually immune to charms. Like, almost nothing can charm him. As then, with that being said, he eventually goes out and, like, gets some fresh air. Looking over the thing, he sees a couple of guys talking together. And then, eventually, he's, like... Sits down on a bench. That's how I typically set this off. Or this is how it is. I can't remember. As Eyes eventually comes sitting down. As he explains, Oh, good evening, Miss Eyes. How goes your night? She explains it fine, but she doesn't really know how to dance. He says, I love this he. That wasn't really a priority during wizard training. Mm-mm. But I did see other people dance when we were resting during battles. <sighs> Especially with the elves. They would have their elven dances. They're quite light on their feet, you could say. Very light. Since it looks like they were like running on the air. It's quite incredible. As then eventually... Him not being Bell, he's like, would you like to dance, Miss Eyes? He's like, I thought you said you didn't know how to dance. I do not. But we could wing it, you could say. As Hermes walking over, he's like, hold my staff. As he, like, hands it hands it to Hermes. As Hes as Bell and uh, I start dancing. As it's, like, Bell's really tall, so as they're dancing, it's kind of, like, awkward at the first moment. But then after a little bit, they get used to, like, a rhythm and just start dancing pretty well, actually. As they finish the dance with Apollo coming out. And then Bell requests for his staff back after the dance is finished. As Hermes is like, here you go. He's like, thank you. After receiving his staff back, with Hermes, not Hermes, uh, Apollo, there we go. Forgot his name for a second. <clears throat> comes out saying, well, 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 hello, Bell." Being still being able to level up in a short period of time. Same goes for Frodo and Sam. He doesn't want them though. He wants a very powerful wizard. Doing the whole hello. And he can't really say about the whole insult thing. He said instead of saying that he beat off one of his people. He simply says that he insulted him. Started calling him terrible names. Or calling his followers. As the followers, those three, come out, start speaking, saying, Oh yeah, he did this and this and this. Kept on saying that, that, and that sort of thing. And then it sort of just divulges into he said, he said, he said sort of situation. So as Bell, Hestia and Bell are trying to fix this shit. They eventually just leave because they get fed up with it. Well, Bell doesn't. Hestia does. As then they lead the party. As then, when they're doing the whole thing, they still get attacked. The church still gets attacked. With Bell actually throwing up a magic shield. As then he retaliates with a whole mass amount of magic bolts. As several of them are just launched in several directions. Just doof, like a machine gun. Just like do 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 do. As it hits several of the people as they all are like, Duck and cover! As they try to hide themselves as they're just blasted away by Bell's magic. Eventually, Bell and Hestia uh, start running as it's like, Frodo, Sam, follow! As they're running, they're taking down several people as Frodo's fast enough as he like bobs and weaves and like goes through people's legs. Same thing with Sam as he hits it with his, I believe I said he had like a little, was it sword or hammer? Can't, I forget what I gave him. As Sam's like throwing pepper in their eyes, it's like, pepper! As everyone's like, my fucking eyes, what do you do? <laughs> as when they get to the rooftops eventually, as it's like, you... As before he can finish the thing, he just, like, smoke up, <laughs> like, throws up, like, causes a smoke, 
sort of situation. As then he grabs Hestia and Frodo and they all just start running. It's like, go, 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 go. As they make their way, eventually receiving help. As Frodo and Sam, like, deal with people trying to run after him. Ponytail tries to get after him as Belle defends against him using iron staff and sword as he comes bashing against this character. As he even breaks his sword and uses Shatter, a very weak version, on his stomach, on like his chest area, causing his body to go flying. As Hesty and him run, they eventually make it all the way to Apollo's house and accept his challenge. Lily is still taking that whole confrontation. And she still gets free pretty much the same way. As Belle actually goes and asks Eyes for a little bit of training. That he understands that he may not be able to rely on... He may want to stop relying on his magic so much. Even though it's his strong suit. So as he's training with Eyes, they go and save he uh, Lily. With Frodo sneaking up there and dealing with glasses... And for the siege battle, well, Bell pretty much fires a massive fire meteor, fire, like a, a Hail Mary, not Hail Mary, but a volley of fireballs, of lightning bolts, and magic bolts, not to like the highest degree he can, otherwise I would tire him out pretty quick, as it just riddles like the gate and just blows it off. With then... Ha uh, Ryu causing a bunch of explosions with her magic swords. He, Frodo, he, Frodo, Sam, and Wealth push through and make it through. As then Frodo and Sam go along and help uh, Mikado. Like, get him, Sam. As they're just getting people in the legs, as they typically would. Pepper. <laughs> they're like, he keeps on throwing Pepper, this is the second time. As then they make it to the thing with Wealth pretty much doing the whole magic thing. His, uh, I think it was Heretic. I forget what the spell says, like Heretic or something. Where they do it and, like, causes magic to implode on itself. As then Bell summons up a large portion of magic, shooting out a lightning storm, you could say. Causing the entire ground of that little church thing to go completely boom. As they took over the top section really quickly as Bell pretty much destroyed this guy almost instantly he even got a new sword completely destroyed Apollo's then throw out thrown out of Apollo of uh or Orion Orion or Ario there we go they take the place and start setting up Bell has a bunch of books he starts putting the books up in like a nice little study chamber you could say as Bell, like I said, does study magic quite a bit still, trying to keep his information sharp as ever. As they're learning this, uh, Hestia tries, well, hmm, Hestia doesn't really need any followers. She has quite a few followers, so she's willing to, you know, not recruit. As eventually, Belle still helps the Lily, like, redhead and blue hair. And then they eventually still go after Mikado. With following Mikado, they still get separated. And Belle still ends up the same situation he does before. Ah, <sighs> poor man. Well, would they take him considering it's magic ability he's strong in and not physical? Because I thought that was a big thing for the Amazons. Hmm. As then she, <clears throat> as with escaping the place after using us, like, uh, he was able to, well, he left his sword, but never left his staff. As he uses it to, like, back, as he uses telekinesis, as he's just sort of forcing them back with telekinesis, as he runs, it's like, go, 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 as he runs through the mansion, eventually making it out, he's like, ah, 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 ah. And eventually makes it to Harahime's place, as he chills there, safe and sound. Sorry? Ugh. As eventually making it through the section he typically would, 
he eventually escapes with Haruhime. After they still have like that talk about heroes and such, as Bell talks about, he never personally wanted to be a hero. He won't always wanted to be a good wizard. Him explaining some of his stories, she being in what you can only describe as awe, like completely in awe, as she just is hearing these stories as he talks about how you he's killed a few giants, a Liam. Saved a few villages, destroyed an entire army, army almost single-handedly. He has a lot of stories to pull out. As they go on through the night, as he regales her with his tales, she eventually leads him out as he would. He's like, thank you, Miss Har Haruhime. I want you to pay this back. As he's able to escape... Oh, my God. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Why is this on? As eventually they make it all the way back, and he still gets chewed out. As he's handed a broom, and she's like, he's like, uh, you use a staff. You should know how to use a broom. It's pretty much the same thing. He's like, no, a staff is a magical. I don't care. Get to sweeping. As he starts sweeping, eventually being contacted by Hermes and Mikado only. Still going along with a large part of the story. As he gets the information, and Belle quite enjoys her company, so, you know what, he's like, sure. They start grinding to find all the material. Eventually being quartered in the dungeon. He tries to fight off Aisha, yes, Aisha with her, with his magic, but... Her physical strength far surpasses his with the whole boost and everything. So as he's eventually captured, as it would be, the frog, the toad, still tries to do it. Gross frog. As then eventually he, well, she, well them, I guess, make their way out. As Belle, when the whole Haruhime event happens with him almost being, well, her being kidnapped or taken back he's about to throw some serious magic but then he's like oh I'll wait oh wait now is not the time I am outnumbered outgunned and I'm pretty sure our he may surpasses me not sure he may Aisha surpasses me when it comes to fighting talents I may have trained like for a long time but she's an expert even physically stronger so yeah as then he retreats, sorry, as then he retreats, and then they come back. Bell, they all sneak in, make it all very sneaky, 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 sneaky snake. Invisibility spell. As Actually, Frodo and Sam actually help them with that as they, like, turn invisible. And with all everyone being distracted when uh, Mikado comes around, Bell, not Bell, Frodo and Sam just sort of, like, release her from her shackles as they literally just like help her escort her down through the side of the building it's like keep calm keep quiet as everyone's like where's that horror hero girl as they're all like looking around as they're like come on let's be quiet as they all sneakily get downstairs and they just start escorting her out then there's just a massive explosion inside the thing with bell having to fend off several members of the Ish Ishtar Familia, with Ishtar eventually trying to do the whole uh, charming him, but he's, like I said, virtually immune, because he's been allowing Galadriel long enough not to be affected by such things. Eventually, as Frodo and uh, Frodo and Sam have gone her out, they eventually run into Freya, as it's like, run along now, halflings. As they're running along, there's just another few explo not explosions, but yeah, I guess lightning bolts stretching out and fire magic being let out. As then Bell's fighting off, as he's right now fighting Frog Chick, as he forces her back with Shatter and such. As he forces her back with Shatter, he eventually comes to blows with. Aisha, having to fight her with his swordsmanship and the ability of magic on his side. It's a hard-fought battle, where he's, like, being pushed and pushed. You guys may be thinking, he took on a Balrog. Think about it, she's, like, a level 4 or 5 adventurer. 
So as he's fending her off, yeah, I think she's actually level four, maybe five. As he's fending her off, <clears throat> he's fending her off, like I said, sorry. He's being pushed and pushed back. He's kind of starting to trip. As eventually he just uses shatter on the ground below them, causing the ground to get uneven. As she takes a misstep, he takes his staff and just b wonks her on the head, eventually knocking her out. As she's like, huh, oh, that was lucky. As he stands there at the top of the tower, pretty much victorious, he eventually gets down there with Freya having done her whole show with Ishtar. Just walking past those people, he's like, hello, hello, goodbye, goodbye. And nothing else happens after that. Hestia doesn't really have this whole romantic interest in Belle. Like, I never understood that. Like, she thinks he's cool, but not to a point of actually liking him. So, with all that said and done, that's where I'm getting it off on. So, I'm going to finish the meta what if. And then, at, I'll let you guys know, like at 150, like 1,500 subscribers, I'm going to do the special, I guess. Well, should I do the special after this? Or what? You know what? I'll do the special after I finish the meta series. And I'll put it in a poll if you guys ever see it. On what, what if Bell and Deku, what if I should do. So, hope you all have enjoyed. Hope you all continue. Hope, hope you all have enjoyed this. Hope you all continue to enjoy this. And hope you all have a nice day. Nice night. Nice life.